It's Monday. I'm on the yard. And the plan of the day is to... I got a 40 foot container right here. The plan is to take this in. I'm going to turn this into the empty yard. I'm going to pull out a loaded container. Today is somewhat of a holiday. Some people celebrating today. Some people celebrating today. There's not really a whole lot going on. So. So with that, we don't have a whole lot planned for today. I'm turning in this 40, I'm going to pull out a 20. And that 20 could leave out today for delivery first thing tomorrow morning. If that's what the driver um, decided to do. And then I have a customer that used to use this trailer right here. We have one load to go do for them today also. And that load pick up and deliver the same day. So you know it's a holiday. still have something going on. Some of our loads, we don't go by holidays with it. Because when the customer need it done, we gotta be there at the door. Or we have to find somebody to fill in, because these are our accounts. So we gotta service the accounts when the customer need it done. That's one thing I always tell people when they're going out looking for um, when they're going out looking for direct accounts, you gotta be willing to service the accounts whenever they whenever they are um, the customers need them done. Some of them gonna be holidays. Some of them gonna be weekends. Some of them going to be all different hours at night. But if you want to keep that account, you're going to have to service the account or you're going to have to find somebody to do it. Find somebody to fill in for you. It's best if you find somebody to fill in for you. Because if the customer finds somebody to fill in for you and that person pursue that customer and end up getting that customer, it's going to be hard for you to get that customer back. Sometimes you won't be able to get that customer back. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drop this 53 that I got hooked to this truck. I'm going to pick up that arm, that 40 foot turn that in and bring the 20 foot back. in this 40 foot 
The customer said it was 59,000 pounds. It didn't feel like it, but that's what they say it was. We haul in the 50s a lot. Anything from like 52 to 57. But it's not very often we haul 59. If it really was 59. Valve before I come up, unhook the um, airlines. It's a truck that I didn't, I didn't park it. Okay, with my truck, sometimes I leave it up. Sometimes I leave the trailer valve pushed in. I just have that habit ever since I was running the road. If I have the trailer valve pushed in and somebody take off the um, somebody take off the emergency line of the trailer, then the truck will start losing air. And I'll they'll start losing air, the low air pressure will come on and I'll wake up. AC seen this truck feel good man we just did AC work on this truck change the line that go from the condenser to the compressor that was an expensive line and it's not a line that a lot of people sell I end up getting the line from Freightliner because uh, All the aftermarket places I went to, nobody carried that line. So I ended up getting it from Freightliner. That line was 800 and something dollars. With my discount, I get it for like 530. But I kept the old line. I'm going to get that, that one made up. I a rubber part on that line was leaking. So I'm uh, um, taking somewhere I still the ends are still good so I'll take it somewhere like they replace the rubber part and I'll keep that as a spear
trucks. I try and keep it where everyone drive the truck that's assigned to them. Because when you leave it up for anyone who could just come and jump in any truck and head out, then you run into an issue where something happened to one of the trucks and everybody said it wasn't done. Which certain things that happen to the truck, you want to know who did it so you could address it. But if you just have the driver switching from truck to truck, some happen you don't know who did it. Nobody want to take responsibility. And it would be unfair. Some drivers are reckless. Some of them take real good care of the truck. Uh, they're careful where they put the truck at. They keep the truck clean and stuff like that. And on the other hand, you have some drivers that just don't care. So it would be unfair for one driver to damage a truck and then you take another, then that driver take a, um, another good truck. That driver take another good truck and head out with it. And then the driver that care the trucks, he get a beat up truck to go out with. When he take care of the truck, he drive. Just certain drivers you just gotta meet them where they at and uh, and ju that's just how it be that's just how it be a, a lot of companies you're gonna have drivers who take care of the truck and drivers who don't me, a driver that take care of the truck, I'm gonna keep him in that truck he taking care of. I went to the port this morning and I got rejected. The empty I had that I said I was gonna turn in. I went to turn it in and they reject me. They wouldn't take it because they had these inside there. And before they noticed it was in there, I went into the container to take them out. Because I know they ain't going to take it with them in there at that location that I went to. Well, once they see me in there taking them out, the guy that inspected the container came out and told me, no, I can't take them out there. I got to leave, take them out and come back. So I end up having to um, pull around the corner, pull out, pull around the corner, take them out. I didn't want to just throw them on the side of the road, so I um, put them in here. And I'm about to go over here to the dumpster and um, throw them out. But whenever you have stuff like this inside the container, the empty container you're going to turn in, Depend on the port that you're going to take it to, they're not going to take it. So you're going to have to um, get it out of there. That way you don't waste time turning around to go take it out. If I was the one, normally with me, whenever I deliver the customer, they leave this stuff inside there, I take it out and put it in the dumpster right there before I even leave. If they don't have a dumpster, I take it out and I leave it on the dock. Or if they close the dock door, I bang on the door until they open it and I put it up there on the on the dock so they could put it in their dumpster. If they won't open the door, because I have a situation where they wouldn't open the door once they close it, I just leave it right there on the dock by the door. So once they open the, open the door, it'll be right there. They could see it. But I don't come back with stuff like this in my container because I know it's going to have to get thrown out anyhow. 
given the port that will take the container with this in there they write it up on the um inspection ticket that is debris in the container so i try to avoid that type of stuff so i just take them up so i'm gonna go over here throw this in the dumpster then i got another i got a local load a direct customer i do every monday and thursday two days a week i gotta go do their loads right now <laughs> 